to it's so you're saying that like since Jake is worse than Logan, KSI has a better shot at winning against Jake. Yeah. Um. Well, here's the thing. I think that Jake has some core things that I think Logan is better than him. But I, I think that Jake has the timing, um, the accuracy, and the killer instinct that defy that makes him stand out from Logan. But I feel like with Logan, Logan is able to win more like on points. He's able to like land better shots, and I think that he doesn't have the 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 uh, the power behind the punch, kind of. But I think yeah. that like you know when he landed that uppercut, KSI was hurt from that. So I think that um, Jake is just a lot more like uh scrappier and um i think he i think jake throws a lot of like unnecessary punches and um i think that's kind of where logan is better than than jake but jake i think just has that really good accuracy and he can like study what the fighter is doing and adjust to it very quickly um and jake works amazing under pressure like gib um nate both were, like, super pressure fighters, and Jake just, like, he knew exactly what to do. So, I think Jake thrives in pressure, and Logan Logan doesn't. KSI can pressure Jake, but he needs to be extremely careful. Because we, we've seen with the Nate fight, with the Gibb fight, they do kind of the exact same mistakes. They kind of go into him, but Jake is able to just, like, let them, like, do their thing. And then he's just able to land one punch and it's over. So I feel like with KSI, he shouldn't not go in with the mentality of, I want to KO Jake in the first round. I want to, you know, bash him, like, into the canvas. It's like, KSI should go in with the mentality of, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win this fight. And if that means this has to be the most boring fight ever, then that's okay. I think that KSI needs to... I think, I think that Jake gets tired very easily. Like after the Nate fight, when he was being interviewed, he was like super out of breath. And I think that he doesn't have as good stamina as Logan does. Even though Logan doesn't really have good stamina to begin with, I think Logan is able to kind of stick with it more. So I think KSI should do a lot of body shots. Just you know, get Jake to um, be the. Jake should be the one that's, like, throwing all of the punches, but KSI is the one that's kind of moving around and landing the big shots, um, and just tire Jake out as much as possible in the first three rounds, because that's where Jake excels, and Logan does, it's the early rounds, KSI excels, yeah. and KSI excels in the later rounds, so KSI should use those first three rounds, a lot of body shots, just tiring Jake out, um, Making Jake do the work, but having K having him, KSI, be the one that's landing the big punches that make a difference. And then come alive in that fourth, fifth, and sixth round. And hopefully, if you get the KO, you get the KO. But if it goes to the, to the decision, I think that that's where KSI can thrive. I feel like if it, went to the, if it went to the decision with Jake, I think Jake misses a lot. And I think that the way Jake would win was would be by a KO, by that... um by the punch that made Nate go down. Um, and I think that with Jake, he just needs to um, study KSI's fights and understand that he shouldn't go in, the, go in with the expectation of, oh, you're going to fight me the same way you fought my brother. Because I'm very, very, very... Um, uh, like, certain? Certain, yeah, certain. That KSI is not going to fight Jake the way he fought Logan, because with Logan, he needed to be, like, scrappy and just all over the place. With Jake, he doesn't need to do that, so I think Jake needs to go in with the mentality of, I'm gonna prob probably get the unexpected, so how am I gonna deal with it? I know I'm about to piss a lot of KSI fans off, Yeah. but the only way I can see Jake winning is if it's in round one or round two. Not because I'm yeah. saying KSI would get KO'd in round one or round two. The reason I believe Jake is tired fast is because he has that... I. Okay, so the the difference between KSI and Jake is that KSI he get, he tries to like warm himself in the in the boxing feeling. Like he feels his opponents out, then yeah. he's like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm done warming up. Jake is different. He likes to waste his entire gas tank in round one or round two, and that's what gives him the killer instinct. Like, hey, I want to finish you in round one, round two. I want to humiliate you. You're gonna be a brand new meme. So the only way Jake can win is, I mean, the only way KSI can win is if he manages to survive uh, round one and round two. And there is no way, and I say this with confidence, there is no way Jake Paul is going to win with the scorecard. Because yeah. he do, he's not, he does not, he's known for timing his punches, you know? He's not known for hitting a bunch of fast combos. He times his punches. And it's really good to hurt somebody, but if they survive, that's not going to look good on a scorecard.